What is Keynesianism? John Maynard Keynes was an English economist made famous for his work in the early to mid 1900s. Keynes was well known for his ideas on how to stimulate the economy during recessions to both shorten and lessen their impact. So how did Keynes suggest we avoid and escape recessions? Spending. More specifically, government spending. The economy is powered by the flow of money within itself, and this cash flow can be broken down into consumer spending and government spending, with taxation acting as a burden on the economy by reducing the amount that people have available to spend. An economy enters a recession when total spending decreases significantly, so Keynes's theory involved increasing government spending and decreasing the burden of taxation as the economy began to slow down. With the use of Keynesianism, interest rates fall, unemployment falls, and people have more money to spend when the economy begins to stagnate. The sacrifice of Keynesian economics is that the necessary government spending is fueled by spending reserves, inflating the currency, or taking on debt. To look at it very simply, an economy that allowed a market to simply correct itself would have much greater highs and lows, while a Keynesian influence system would generate reserves in prosperous times through taxes and reduced spending, and then using those reserves in downturns by spending and reducing taxes. This reduces the volatility and fluctuations in the economy. John Maynard Keynes developed his theories in the 1930s in an attempt to understand the Great Depression and avoid such catastrophes in the future. Keynesian economics then continued to dominate global economic systems from the 1940s until the 1970s, where it met its unanticipated kryptonite, stagflation. Stagflation is where an economy suffers from both rising inflation and unemployment, along with low growth. Keynesianism couldn't effectively smooth the highs and lows when the economy's general direction was downward and failed to provide the necessary boost in growth. Nonetheless, Keynesianism has still proven to be an effective method of avoiding and reducing recessions, even being used as recently as, well, right now. If it weren't for Keynesianism, the Covid pandemic would have easily plunged the world into the worst depression in history. So thanks John. <laughs>